Now for your algebra lesson for today. Don't get scared as we are not going to get that deep into algebra, but we need to revisit the order of operations standard that you learned back in school. As you might remember, algebra comes with its own set of rules and terminology that we need to understand in order to work with formulas in Excel. Excel is a mathematical application and using algebra to create your formulas is a must. Let's take a look at the order of operations standard. This can consists of the following four rules. The first order of operation that Excel will perform, which is based on algebra, is that anything in parentheses or brackets will be simplified first. Then the next rule is exponents or radicals. Excel will automatically simplify any of the exponents or radicals of a number or of a set of parentheses Second, then multiplication and division is stronger than addition and subtraction. So Excel will perform any multiplication or division prior to doing any addition and subtraction. To put this in perspective, let's take a look at the following simple formula. We have 2 plus 5 times 5 minus 30. Now, based on how you would calculate this, your answer will be different. If you were to go ahead and do addition first here, 2 plus 5, you would get 7. So now this formula would be 7 times 5 minus 30. Then if you were to go ahead and perform the multiplication going left to right, 7 times 5 would be 35, so that would be 35 minus 30. And then 35 minus 30 is 5. So your answer by just going left to right would be 5. But if you go ahead and perform the order of operation standard to this formula, you will get an entirely different result. Notice that in this formula we have multiplication. And based on our order of operation standard, multiplication comes before addition and subtraction. So this formula would actually be calculated as 2 plus 5 times 5 is 25, so this would be 2 plus 25 minus 30, and then we would go ahead and perform the addition or subtraction, it doesn't matter at this stage, and it would be 2 plus 25 is 27, so now our formula would be 27 minus 30, which is negative 3. So based on how you solve a formula, you need to have some rules on what comes first. And again, the order of operation is first to simplify any of the formula that is enclosed in parentheses or brackets, and then go ahead and simplify the exponents or radicals whether those be within the formula or within a set of parentheses. Then multiplication and division is stronger than addition and subtraction, so it would come third. And then finally perform any addition and subtraction, and you will get the correct result. So make sure that you're aware of the order of operations and simple algebraic rules to go ahead and solve your equations. We will be using the order of operations throughout the remainder of the formulas that we develop within this tutorial. So let's go ahead and move on to the next movie.